Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having a beautiful day. I'm on a rush. I have to grab my airplane. I'm in Salt Lake City Airport, but I thought I would take you on a little photography adventure while we're going. I'm on the 50mm f0.95, the manual lens, and we're gonna try to get photos while rushing to get my plane. I don't know if it's gonna be feasible, but hopefully, it's gonna give us some ideas. Let's go POV style together. Woo! Welcome to Salt Lake City Airport. I'm on the 50 millimeter F0.95 right now. And I'm walking, I'm gonna be late for my flight, but I thought I would take some photos while we're walking. I don't know if that's possible. If I manage to walk at the same speed of this guy and do a long exposure, like 15 seconds, could make for a really interesting effect. Just have to bump up a little bit my aperture. Here we go, let's see. Let's see, let's see if we can do this. Oh, it's gonna move in all directions. I need one of those. I need to be on the ramp for it to work. We can do it over there. We can try this. Yeah, this doesn't work, as you can see. So let's do it on the ramp. It's, it's not very like photogenic, I would say, around here. So maybe we can take some um creative photos like just with like effects it could look cool because we have this wall with all the colors behind right so yeah that didn't work Let's see look at that we've got toby in front of us toby if you guys remember toby from the video on the asmns3 we were making jokes at the beginning of the video actually so i'm here yeah, don't move. I'm gonna do a 15 sec, uh, 115. Look at me. <laughs> That's a cool. little blur. Because since we're moving on this, we get the crowd effect. Mm. Crowd blur all around. Let's do it again. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna go a little slower. Okay, one tenth of a second. You ready? Nice. Pretend you're going somewhere. Pretend. Oh, this looks cool. I like that. Nice. That's sweet. That's fun shots. Just with a little bit of the blur. If we can blur it more, it's better, but it's tough. Yeah. Let's continue. Oh, sorry. Yeah, stand, stand in the middle for one second. Ready? Go in the middle. Three, two, one. No. Okay, we missed it. It's yeah. okay. 0 0.4 second on this yeah. is, is a little difficult because it's moving also. Uh, should uh, oh no, it's off. I had it. I had it off because of my. Um, I did night photography. Yeah, yeah, and I turned it off, and I always forget to turn it back on. Good call. Look at this, guys. See, that's the thing, like, no matter what you're doing, if you have a camera in hand, if you have your phone, you can always play, um, play with some effects. Like, basically train yourself, you know, in photography. That's what I teach a lot in the 30-day Adventure to Great Photos. It's in the training program. It's really to take that time, no matter how long or how short you think it is, to practice, you know? It's like one of the most important, in my opinion. Uh, just don't come out slow enough. Let's try a little slower here. One fifth. Yeah, let's let's try this. Oh, 
Oh, this looks cool. Look, this is kind of like super abstract. But I love that thing. Look at this. That is really nice. Oh, by the way, I'm on my way to Sun Valley in Idaho. First time ever in Idaho. You've been around? Let me know. I feel like in airports, like honestly, dragging the shutter is is always the best. With service to Denver for the continuation service on to Philadelphia. Your aircraft is made up on made up time. Yeah, those shots come always better. We'll be boarding here in about 12 minutes. Oh, look at that reflection so in the floor. Like 2907 with service to Denver for the continuation of Philadelphia. Where your aircraft is back on schedule here at B20. Let's see, I think we have at least one of Toby. When he's sharp. Good. Oh yeah, this looks good. Got the reflection. It's a little tight. So like I would prefer to be a little wider. But still won't. Let's do a panning of him. See if you have a friend, you're in an airport. This is what you can do. Oh, this is way overexposed. Oof, I overexposed massively. It's crazy. You know what's funny is with those lenses, I end up shooting a lot of time more like uh, horizontal than vertical. Just because I have to manually, you see, tweak the lens to get it to work see if we can use those lights in order to get something uh, what would this look like no maybe a little lower and then if we give some movement for all people but they're not walking parallel that's a trick okay I think and I'm showing you all those blurry photos, by the way, on purpose, okay? I'm not trying to pretend like everything I take is great. Once more, if you're new here, the whole goal is to show you, to share with you those adventures, like when I take terrible shots, when I take good one, when it's fun, when it's not, you know? Ooh. Okay, that's not working out. Let's see, let's see, let's see what we get here. Oh, this is cool. Look at that movement. Like the movement in the frame was absolutely perfect. This is awesome. Love that shot. I mean, I'm saying that from my camera. Usually when I look at it on the computer, I have different feelings or mixed feelings about things. So just keep that in mind. But you got to be excited by what you take. Meh, terrible, terrible. All right, my flight is boarding in five minutes, so I should hurry up. But I picked up my broken filter again. If you've ever seen those funny like videos I made, you know what I'm talking about. And I think I'm gonna try to get a few, like just like people doing things and add a little bit of something in the image, you know, like that. Almost looks like he's like looking the screen that's reflecting. So it's kind of funny, you see? It's like, but you know, the hardest part on this lens is when you at 0.95 or even 1.1, it's super difficult to actually know if you're in focus or not. That's tough. And by the way, at my gate, there's a bunch of creators you guys know because we're going to the Sony Kando event. It's a really cool event that they organize um, and it's the first time they do it again after COVID so I'm pumped. Let's see what else we can do here. Ooh, not much happening here. Oh, wow. See the filter is not doing anything here. There's not enough light hitting it directly. So it's not very helpful. 
Uh, this can work. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go slow, short of speed. Maybe 115. Passengers wishing to smoke must exit the airport and go to a designated smoking area curbside. Thank you. Let's give it. Oh, I think the frame could be interesting. But you see what happens? I didn't think about it that once I'm actually uh, moving the lens, what happens is that the alley also ends up changing, right? The alley is blurry, so you get less of a nice frame. So the filter is not adding as much as I wanted. So let's see if we can make it a little more interesting. Oh, this this might work. In the interest of aviation security, do not leave your luggage unattended. Yeah, that time. way you can hide people also a little bit. Probably will have to recrop that. Someone that's tampered with your luggage, or if a stranger approaches you about carrying a foreign object, contact an airline representative. You get the idea. I don't think it works well, <laughs> and I'm running out of time. But. You get the idea, we can play with that. Please check in at a B23. <laughs> I love panning shots with people walking. Alright, last shots. I have to run to my plane. Let's take a photo of the panel out somehow. Make it look cool. How do we make it look cool? Mm, nope, this is not gonna make it look cool. A little bit of foreground. Delta Flight 1710 was service to Boise. No. Because when they were to do it, they were to do it. Oh, can we pray? Thank you for your service and Oh, this guy is funny. I love what he's doing. He's like stretching. But if you have a subject that's coming in the frame, it can look like he's saying no to that person. Like, don't walk into me. Oh, this is kind of boring. This is kind of funny with their legs. All right, guys, I have to run on my plane. I'll see you later. Oh, well, maybe I should run now. Oh, here we go. I'll make it this time. I won't miss my flight. Thanks, brother. Excuse me. Thank you.